Hi YouTube, Novastar here again, and today I'm bringing you a deck profile on my Love Life again. Um, it's still a way off being complete because of funds. Um, but I'm going to get straight into it. So I'll start with the low zeros. I run two of this 0 0 Nico, 2500 power. If it's doing any card on the field, it gains 1500 power and 1 leveled. So it's basically a 4k 1 1, not 1 0 even. I run two. This Katori, 2500 power. When it comes into play on the turn it's played, it gains 1500 until end of the turn. Two of this Katori, 1500. Um, it basically pay one, ditch one, search for any music character in the deck, which is the entire deck, obviously. Three of this Nozomi, 3500. Uh, when it comes into play, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a music character, no, if it's a non-music character, it goes to clock. But you know, the only thing that's going to be is climaxes and events. Two of this Nico assist. Five hundred in front. You can tap it to select one of your characters, and it gains plus one level until the end of the turn. So I need to get over suiciders. I run three suiciders. Uh, obviously, it has the suicide ability when it battles level zero. But when it attacks, you can return two characters from your waiting room to your deck, and it gains 2,000 power. So it's handy as well because if you've got, if you're about to refresh and you've got one card in your deck, put two more in, you get free attacks, more deck compression. Two of this Honoka, one one. If there's three or more of immediate characters, it gains 500 power in hand on core, and it has a climax combo with the gates, which is when it attacks, pay one, salvage one. One of this Katori. It's suicide. I'm not going to go over its combo because I don't run it. It's just level one suicider. What are this one one event? Uh, salvage a character in your weight room. I think it is. And return to your hand. Choose one character, and that character gets one thousand power. So it's basically a one thousand power boost and a salvage for pay for one stock. So I run three of these fifty five hundred vanilla nozomies. Um because I only have one of the Ellie's, so these are to replace the three Ellie's until I get them. And I'll tell you which Ellie I'm on about. I have run one of this Ellie, because I only have one. I need four more. That's what these are hidden here for. These are replacing the Ellie's until I get them. So I only have one. Gains 500 for every other music character I've ever filled, so it's essentially it's a 6 5 beat stick with a fulfilled without before assists. I run two of these 1-1 one -one Katoris because it's 7k and neither player can use backups when this card battles so it's handy to go against cards like the Mark or Shooter where people use backups because you know they can't use them I run 2 of this Umi Brainstorm 1-0 for 3000 power Brainstorm uh, Global 500 so all other music characters gain 500 and Brainstorm is pay 1 tap 2 and basically, mill four for each climax hit you get to search for a music character from your deck, so very useful onto the level twos. I run two of this backup, this normal to be backup. Uh, it's just basically a pay one 3k backup, but if it's placed on the stage, you can still bring your character and it gains 2k power. So you don't, you can essentially use it on your turn just by playing one to play on stage, which is quite handy. Two level assists, 500 times the level in front. When this card is placed, if it's a full third, you get one put the top card if you like into your stock without looking, obviously, so it's buying stock. One of this knows me, it's a good card to tech with. Uh, when this card battle opponent becomes reversed, uh, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card's a music character, choose another one of your music characters, and that card gets 2000 power and plus one soul until the end of the turn. Uh, another good thing about this, though, if they attack this, you can use your backup. So, say they attack this, you use this. Reverse their character, you get to pump up, still get to put one of your characters up by 2k, so it's essentially two backups for the price of one. I've done that a couple of times. Not often, but it does happen. That's why I run one. Instead of, I run three of these Umis. I would run four, but I'm running the Nozomi instead, just to make it a bit more, you know, just more variety, I suppose. This card gains 500 for every rested character you have, so... On your turn, if you've got a full full four, if it attacks last, it's 10k base. If you've got the back row rested, but if they attack, something I mean, well, this card's on the field, so say you've got three rested, 
They attack and reverse this one. They lose their 500 power because it's now reversed. So that's something to bear in mind. If they reverse your characters, then it loses its power. And so they'll freeze everyone. Two of this Nico. Uh, all the, the character in front of this gets minus one soul. And when this card attacks, you can pay two put, and put a card from your hand in the waiting room. Once card battle opponent becomes reversed, you may pay the cost if you do put that character. Yeah, so basically, this attacks, their character gets reversed. Pay two, ditch card, that character goes to clock. So it's a good game in though. I run two of this Hanukkah um, from the TD. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage, search deck for up to one music character, shuffle deck afterwards. When another of your music character attacks, this card gains 1000 power. So if it attacks last, it's essentially a 12k beat stick. And it's here for the search. Because I don't have cards to replace it for it now. Two of these uh, yellow healers. It's just basically here for the heal. Um, it does have a climax combo, which combos with the wind trigger. When it attacks, it basically, with the climax there, everything gains 3k. So it's basically a 3k boost for everything on the field. I run two of these Umis because I only have two. I would have four if I could, but I don't have any more. Uh, heals on play. If you have three or more of a music characters, it gains 1k, so it's 10 5 base with a full field pretty much. Um, when it attacks with the climax combo, you can salvage one and all your characters gain 1000 power until the end of the turn, so it's quite good. And for the climaxes, this is the card that combos with the Yumi that I just showed you. It's 2k plus one soul draw a card. So I run four of this. I'm running two gates because I only have two. So I'm running two gates. And I'm running two wind triggers until I get my other gates. So I can do the other combo as well. Um, that's pretty much my deck profile so far. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.